Greetings from the top of Baxter. Hello, my name is George Onchangwa from Nairobi, Kenya. Hello, my church family. My family here in Brazil is doing really well. Hello from New Zealand. Hey, Memorial Church family. Uh, this is Justin here in New Zealand. It is Thursday morning. Greetings from Zagreb, Croatia. It is interesting to see and encouraging how many people, when faced with crisis, are turning to God. Our Sunday service uh, from two weeks ago was viewed by 360 people. As I remember, Kushlanova Church never had that many people present at Sunday service. In my ministry, I'm really praying about the families that are at home with their children. Um, I'm, I'm rushing to put out lessons for them so that they'd be able to have family devotional times, uh, spend some time in the Word, uh, and make that an enjoyable experience for families. Um, and the great thing is Mission Bible Class is already set up for that. There are people all over the world using the website. And when you know, we've got a time when people all over the world are needing something. So I'm trying my best to provide that. Uh, I have been on the phone uh, a lot constantly since this has started. Counseling and encouraging our brothers here in Campinas and throughout Brazil. Uh, this morning, I was in a radio call to a local radio station and talked about 30 minutes about Jesus and about his love and about the faith that we need to have. We are uh, able to continue serving. Our church uh, runs a food bank and another not-for-profit called the Back to School Project, both are which are seen as essential uh, by the government, which is a, a cool thing, but also a scary thing. We are going to be out um, serving food to people who need parcels. And um, what we are just asking is prayers for wisdom as to uh, how to stay safe, uh, how to continue serving and showing the love of, of Jesus um, as we serve those around us. The country is in a total confusion. It's lockdown. Places of worship like this church building where could, we could be having some sort of activities, it's now deserted. We've done a 24-hour prayer vigil. Our two apprentice missionaries, uh, Olivia Barnes and Elisa Paul uh, from the States have, have organized a 24-hour vigil and three and four people would pray uh, for an hour uh, throughout this 24 hours for different uh, areas and aspects of, of the things we're going through. In spite of being isolated from each other, we as Kushlanova Church members are more connected than now than before. Every day we are sharing information online about each other and praying together every day at 9 p.m. wherever we, we live. The church family here is doing well and they're doing three main things. First of all, the church is praying praying for everyone. The second thing that they're doing is that they're calling every single member. They're longing uh, to be together and to hear people's voices. And the third thing that they're doing is that they're writing and uh, putting out videos and audios encouraging uh, one another. I'm praying for you and I ask that you continue to pray for us in these uh, amazing times that we're living in. God bless. Be strong and be very courageous in what you're facing. And uh, we, we're praying for you. We pray for your well-being. Please be safe. Please remember us in your prayers. God bless you. We are praying that people around us will search for God when looking for answers in these crisis times. Now is the time when we can put theory into practice when what we are preaching is guiding our behavior and actions. Now we can be fearless in times of fear, encouragement in times of discouragement, and peacefulness in times of chaos. My prayer is that may God provide a solution for the families and the and humanity. I am aware it's a global problem. We are praying that God may have His way for us. May we pray for the world May we pray for our families. May we pray for our churches. May God bless you all. We love you all. We thank you for your support. Thank you for what you do to continually um, lift us up and allow us to do what we do. God bless.